वेलकम टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर बकवाम बैक विद द न्यू वीडियो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर एन अमेजिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफर्ड बाय वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इफ आई वुड से द पैराडाइज ऑन अर्थ दैट वुड बी ऑल फेयर सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नॉन अदर देन द स्विट्जरलैंड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्विस गवर्नमेंट एक्सीलेंस स्कॉलरशिप्स फॉर फॉरन स्कॉलर्स एंड आर्टिस्ट for the academic year 2022 to 2023 so today we will discuss about the eligibility criteria the scholarship coverage process of application required documents and other details of the scholarship so if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel and liked our facebook page so do that first so that you can receive regular updates regarding foreign scholarships internships fellowships research exchange programs and job opportunities around the globe so let us begin with today's video so first of all we have opened the official link of this scholarship so i will share the link in the description of the video you can have a look at this so this scholarship covers three aspects basically uh first one is you can apply for the phd program second one is the postdoc program and the third one is research exchange program so this scholarship covers all aspects of uh, research based studies so i will be splitting this video into three parts to make it easy for you to focus on your particular thing so first of all let us have a general perception about this scholarship program each year the swiss confederation awards government excellence scholarships to promote international exchange and research cooperation between switzerland and over 180 other countries recipients are selected by the awarding body the federal commission for scholarship for foreign students The Swiss government excellence scholarships are aimed at young researchers from abroad who have completed a master's degree or PhD and at foreign artists holding a bachelor's degree. So you can see that they are offering basically the PhD programs, the postdoc programs as well as the master's program for the foreign artists who are holding a bachelor's degree. So it is one of the Mm, very few opportunities that are offered to the artists around the globe so if you belong to arts field then you must apply for this particular scholarship types of scholarship the research scholarship is available to post graduate researchers in any discipline who hold a masters degree as a minimum who are planning to come to switzerland to pursue research or further studies at doctoral or post doctoral level Research scholarships are awarded for research or study at all Swiss cantonal universities, universities of applied sciences and the two federal institutes of technology as well as the four research institutes. Only candidates nominated by an academic mentor at one of these higher education institutions will be considered. So it clearly mentions that you require an acceptance from the academic mentor means your uh supervisor at the host institute in order to get this scholarship art scholarship are open to art student wishing to pursue an initial masters degree in switzerland art scholarships are awarded for study at any swiss conservatory or university of the arts this scholarship is available to students from a limited number of countries only so if you belong to arts uh, field you can check out if your country is eligible to apply for this scholarship so the process of application is simple you just need to go at this link get the application package from the swiss representation this september the scholarship has started from august and uh, till september you can complete uh, your application package then you can apply for it the deadline for uh, to apply for the scholarship varies country to country so we will discuss about pakistan in detail later on in the next section of this video uh, then the selection will be done by fcs by the end of may you will be informed about your status of the scholarship 
and then you will fly to Switzerland on next September means 2022 so regarding the application documents you can visit the list of the countries selection applicants uh, applications are subject to preliminary selection by the relevant national authorities or the Swiss diplomatic representation the shortlisted applications are then assessed by the Federal Commission for Scholarships for foreign students. The FCS assesses scholarship applications according to three criteria. So there are three main criteria for the evaluation of your application. First one is candidate profile, quality of the research project or artistic work in case you belong to the arts degrees, synergies and potential for future research cooperation. So uh, basically your profile and your research interest as well as your research proposal will be uh, the key factor in the evaluation process awards the FCS will announce its decision regarding the new scholarship awards by the end of May at the latest the FCS will select scholarship holders for the 2022-23 academic year by the end of May 2022 Scholarships for 2023 academic year will be advertised online from August 2022. So if you are interested in applying next year, then uh, the scholarships will be open from August 2022. So now for the particular de details regarding each part of the degree, uh, you just need to click here at the countries and uh, find out Pakistan in the list yes here we have so if you click here you will uh, get a zip file that contains basically three files further the first one is for PhD information second one is for postdoc and third one is for research exchange program so as there are three opportunities I will be splitting this video into three parts the first part will be for PhD scholarships, the second part will be for postdoc scholarships and the third one will be research exchange program. So let us begin with the part one, the PhD scholarships offered by the Swiss government excellent scholarships. So the academic year is 2022, country is Pakistan, opening of the call is from 1st August and submission deadline is 30th September. Scholarship as you know, FCS is awarding this scholarship. Objectives to enable selected applicants to undertake a PhD at one of the 10 Swiss cantonal universities, the two Swiss federal institutes of technology or the graduate institute. So the eligible universities are here if you are interested to apply in PhD programs and it applies to all domains available uh, in these universities along with the three research centers and the graduate center as well. So the validity, the scholarship is valid only for full-time PhD studies in Switzerland. It is not valid for mixed PhD programs. So it is not going to be like a collaborative uh, sort of PhD. PhD students with an ongoing or planned doctoral project that is carried out within the framework of a formalized agreement between two universities uh, and under the joint direction of two supervisors are eligible for a 12 month research fellowship only. So if you are already pursuing a PhD program and you have a collaboration in the Swiss University with some professor, then you are eligible to apply for a 12 month research fellowship only. Target group highly qualified postgraduate students possessing the required degrees from all academic fields, duration 12 months, prolongable up to 36 months based on the achieved academic results amount and additional allowances so what the scholarship is going to cover scholarship amounts to a monthly payment of chf 1920 there are no family allowances no financial support for field work or the conferences for non-eu and non-efta guarantees only the fcs pays mandatory with swiss health insurance so it covers your health insurance it covers your flight allowance and 300 housing allowance will be paid once at the beginning of the scholarship one year half fare public transportation card will be given to you 
supports services and various trips, dinners, sightseeing tours organized for Swiss government excellent scholarship holders. So it is a fully funded program and it will cover all aspects of your expenses. Eligibility criteria and specific conditions. Master's degree or equivalent university degree achieved before 31st 2022 recognized by the Swiss University as a proof the degree has to be submitted to the Federal Commission of for scholarships before the start of the scholarship. So your degree should be completed by 31st July 2022. Applicant's date of birth should be bef uh, should be like after 31 December 1986. Applicants must provide a letter from an academic host professor including her his short CV at the chosen Swiss University confirming why he is or she is willing to supervise and support the PhD thesis without such specific support letter the application will be rejected. So you need to have an accept acceptance letter from the host supervisor in order to apply for the scholarship. If an assistant professor supports a candidature, a full professor who is entitled to supervise the PhD during the entire scholarship has to co-sign the support letter. Applicants must have a research proposal including a time frame. This is the centerpiece of the application. The applicants must devote all required attention to it. So your research proposal is a decisive factor. You need to design a really good and professional research proposal uh, along with a timeline included in it. Applicants must be in command of the necessary language skills required for the PhD studies. Applicants who have been in Switzerland more than one year at the beginning of the scholarship in September are not eligible to apply. Reference document if applicable. Residence permit to be added to the application documents. Scholarship holders are expected to move to Switzerland during their grant period. The scholarship amount covers the living costs of one person only. There are no additional family allowances. Applicants who have already benefited from a Swiss government scholarship are not eligible to apply for a second scholarship. So this was all about the eligibility criteria. Please note the FCS application for a PhD scholarship and the application for admission by Swiss University for a PhD study are two separate procedures. So make sure that you apply at the university portal where you are supposed to uh, get admission and then you will apply for a scholarship separately on the FCS portal. The admission to a PhD study at your chosen Swiss university in due time is a conditional blah blah for a potential attribution of a FCS scholarship but no guarantee though for a positive decision by the Federal Commission for Scholarships for Foreign Students. It is the applicant's responsibility to manage both procedures in parallel. So they are saying basically that if you get admission in the university, uh, admission confirmation, then it does not mean that you will be awarded with a scholarship. So both are separate procedures and you have to um, go along both the procedures side by side. There are basically two different ways to achieve a doctorate degree. The first way consists to undertaking doctoral studies at Swiss University under the supervision of an academic mentor. The admission to the PhD at the university might take place after the grant of application period at the Swiss Embassy. So if you get award for, awarded for the scholarship, you can even complete the admission process later on. The second way consists in being admitted to a doctoral school and then apply for the scholarship. Selection criteria, the following aspects are important, the candidate academic profile, research capacity and motivation, the research project, originality and methodological soundness, the academic context, quality and context of supervision and potential for future academic cooperation. Application time frame is mentioned, opening from 1st August, application deadline 30th September, beginning of scholarship 1st September 2022. Application procedure application package can be obtained by email from the embassy of Switzerland in Islamabad So if you are interested, you can just write an email to them and they will provide you with the application package Application documents what documents uh, do you require? Signed FCS application form that you will get from the embassy embassy of Switzerland in Pakistan Islamabad a full CV with a list of academic publications awards etc motivation letter maximum two pages 
a complete research proposal maximum five pages signed using exclusively the FCS research proposal form right so if you undertake doctoral studies at a Swiss University under the supervision of an academic mentor a copy of the letter of an academic host professor including his her short CV at the chosen Swiss University confirming why she or he is Willing to supervise and support the PhD thesis is mandatory. Applicants for doctoral schools and an admission letter is not required, right? So you uh, basically require uh, an acceptance letter to apply for the scholarship and you can get the admission letter from the university later on. Two confidential letters of recommendation are required from your referees. Photocopies of certificates and grade sheets from previously attended universities are required. Signed medical certificate is required. Two copies of the applicant's passport are required. Please do not put the documents into plastic folders or blinders, nor use paper clips or staplers. So, if you have any questions, you can call the Switzerland Embassy in Islamabad, Pakistan, or write an email to them to get the application package. And here is their number there is here is the website so you can contact to them if you in case you need any uh, to resolve any particular query so this was all about if you are interested to apply for the PhD scholarship under Swiss government excellence scholarship program okay now beginning with the part two the postdoctoral scholarships offered by the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarships Program by Switzerland and the academic year is 2022 opening of the call is from 1st August submission deadline is 30th September scholarship as you know what is it offered by the FCS objectives to enable selected applicants to undertake a postdoctoral research at one of the 10 Swiss cantonal universities two Swiss federal institutes of technology and the public teaching and research institutes or the university of applied sciences so here are the list of eligible institutions where you can apply for the postdoctoral program so validity the scholarship is valid only for full-time postdoctoral research in switzerland it is not valid for mixed research all right so the target group is highly qualified postdoctoral researchers at the beginning of their academic career from all academic fields. This scholarship primarily offers no opportunity to scholars who have not already been to Switzerland, no funding for sabbaticals. Duration 12 months starting in September, no prolongation possible. Grant applications for stays lasting less than 9 months will not be treated as a priority. Grant applications for stays lasting less than six months will be rejected. So it is a full-fledged like 12 months program. Uh, if you request them to um, do it like for nine months, then your selection will be in danger. And if you mention six months, then you will be automatically rejected. Amount and additional allowances. It is a fully funded scholarship so it covers all aspects of your financial needs eligibility criteria and specific conditions phd degree achieved after 31st december 2018 and before 31 july 2022 recognized by the swiss university as a proof the degree has to be submitted to the federal commission for scholarships before the start of the scholarship Applicants who have been in Switzerland since more than one year at the beginning of the scholarship in September are not eligible. Reference document if applicable residence permit to be added to the application documents. Applicants must provide a letter from an academic host supervisor including his or her short CV at the chosen Swiss University confirming why he is uh, going to choose you. Uh, so you need to have an acceptance letter in order to apply for this scholarship not accepted as academic supervisors for postdoctoral scholarship applicants are their former phd mentors and their co-directors for the cotitale phd if the academic supervisor is at a swiss university so if you don't have an acceptance letter then you can provide your uh, reference letter from the phd mentors or co-directors if one of them is from swiss university Applicants must have a research proposal including a time frame 
Applicants must be in command to the necessary language skills. Scholarship holders are expected to move to Switzerland. Uh, during the grant period, the scholarship amount covers the living cost of one person only. Applicants who have already benefited from a Swiss government scholarship program are not eligible to apply. The following aspects and selection criteria are primarily considered. Your academic profile, research capacity and motivation, research project, its authenticity and methodological soundness, the academic context, quality and context of supervision and potential for future academic cooperation. Application time frame. The deadline to apply is 30th September and the program will start from 1st September 2022. The application package can be obtained from the Embassy of Switzerland in Islamabad. What documents are needed? You need to provide a signed FCS application form that you can get from the Embassy of Switzerland in Islamabad by emailing them. A full CV is required, a motivation letter is required, research proposal is required, a copy of letter from an academic host professor mentioning that uh, why he is uh, choosing you, uh, choosing to supervise you. Uh, like it's an acceptance letter, two confidential letters of recommendation are required, photocopies of certificates and grade sheets are required, signed medical certificate, two copies of applicant's passport. Please do not put the document in plastic folders or binders nor use paper clips or stapler. So if you have any particular queries, you can contact the embassy directly. Uh, either by emailing them if you also if you require the application uh, package you can also email them you can call them if you have any specific queries or you can visit their website so now uh, we will discuss about the part 3 that is research fellowships offered by the Swiss government excellence scholarship program in Switzerland the academic year is 2022, opening of the call is from 1st August and the deadline for submission is 30th September. So we all know the name of the scholarship offered by FCS, objectives to enable selected applicants to undertake research in the realm of their PhD at one of the 10 Swiss cantonal universities. The two Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, the Public Teaching and Research Institutes or the University of Applied Sciences. So. Basically, this is a research exchange program offered to the PhD students who are already enrolled in some institution in any PhD program. So this is the list of the eligible universities where you can apply for like acceptance and admission and side by side can apply for this particular scholarship. Validity. The scholarship is valid only for full time research in Switzerland. It is not valid for mixed research like part time in Switzerland and part time in another country. The scholarship is not compatible with field trips outside Switzerland, therefore no possibility and no funding for field work. Furthermore, the scholarship type is not available for scholars holding a PhD degree. So you need to be a regular student rather than a PhD degree holder in order to apply for this program. PhD student with an ongoing or planned doctoral project that is carried out within the framework of the formalized agreement between two universities. one. Swiss University and one foreign university and under the joint direction of two supervisors are eligible for a 12 month research fellowship only. So it is a 12 month fellowship program uh, and uh, both the supervisor needs to have a collaboration in order to get this scholarship. Target group is highly qualified postgraduate researchers from all academic fields as well as young medical doctors. Duration 12 months maximum starting in September no prolongation possible the research fellowship cannot be upgraded into a prolongable PhD scholarship so it is just a 12 month exchange program and it cannot be prolonged grant applications for stays less lasting uh, less than nine months will not be treated as a priority and those of six months will be rejected automatically so it is a fully funded scholarship so it will cover around all the expenses like your health insurance um, like your traveling allowance and uh, will pay you housing allowance one year half fare public transportation field trips etc organized by the swiss government scholarship holders eligibility criteria and specific conditions this is important so master's degree or equivalent university degree achieved 
before 31 July 2022 recognized by the Swiss University as a proof the degree has to be submitted to FCS prior to getting the scholarship applicants must be born after 31st December 1986 so here is the age limit applicants who have been in Switzerland since more than 1 year at the beginning of the scholarship in September are not eligible reference document if if applicable residence permit to be added to the application document applicants must provide a letter from an academic host mentioning why he or she is interested in you and going to choose you for the particular program so it is a kind of acceptance letter that you need to provide a research proposal is needed with the time frame uh, and it is a decisive factor in your selection for this particular scholarship applicants must be in command of the necessary language skills scholarship holders are expected to move to switzerland during their grant period the scholarship amount covers the living cost of one person only and they are not going to entertain your family members if you have already received a scholarship from swiss government you are not eligible to apply selection criteria is basically based on three aspects the academic profile of the candidate the research project authenticity and methodological soundness the academic context quality and context of supervision and potential for the future academic cooperation application time frame is mentioned it was opened on 1st august deadline is 30th september and the program will start on 1st september 2022 application package can be obtained from the embassy of switzerland in islamabad by emailing them make sure you don't uh, need to visit them physically you just need to write an email to them and they will provide you the application package application documents which are needed are signed fcs application form that you will uh, obtain from the embassy a full cv motivation letter research proposal uh, with the timeline as we have already discussed uh, acceptance letter from the host professor for research fellowship in addition re- you require a short cv of the academic mentor at the home institution two confidential letters of recommendation are required photocopies of certificates and grade sheets are required signed medical certificate is required two copies of applicant's passport is required applicants already in switzerland during the application procedure add a copy of the residence permit for switzerland so here is a note please do not put the documents into plastic folders or blinders nor use paper clips or stapler all right so in case if you have any particular queries or you require the application package you can contact the embassy of Switzerland in Islamabad Pakistan via this email or telephone number or their website so it was all about the swiss government scholarship program yeah so we have discussed i think all aspects of all three opportunities either you can apply for the phd programs postdoc programs or research exchange so in whatever program you are interested just visit this website i will share this link in the description and uh, follow the instructions mentioned in the pdf i will also share the link of these pdf files uh, in the description of the video so with that this is dr bookworm signing off make sure you follow our youtube channel for receiving regular updates regarding scholarships fellowships internships opportunities and research exchange programs so thank you so much